Lois, did you want to just say anything? I mean, you raised a really, you know, I think a provocative and wonderful opportunity to think about the Jewish part of writing and identity. And I don't know if you want to just say a few words about that before we disband. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because um, the question that is anticipated a lot around my novel because the character is African American and it's is, you know, what's it like to be a white writer writing in a black voice? And I think that that's an interesting question. I mean, I, you know, I have a PhD in African American literature, um, I have read a lot of slave narratives, a lot of other material about the slave experience. But it's interesting because it's assumed that that sort of is the boundary that you can't jump. If I had written, um, you know, I, I don't know anybody, black or white, who was enslaved in the 19th century and is still alive to write about it today, right? So the assumption that getting to that experience is some racial truth, as opposed to thinking about writing across gender or writing across religion, is just a really interesting way for me to think about it. And of course, if you're a good writer, um, you know, when you write a novel, you have to make every character true. I would say probably the character who is, um, gets shortest shrift in the novel is Verena Davis, who is Jefferson Davis's wife. She's the one character who I really kind of let myself slide without making her more complicated as every person is. But nobody's really going to worry about whether I did great justice to Verena Davis or not, because I was sort of rooting for the Union and she was sort of rooting for the Confederacy. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, so that's part of it is just thinking about where we expect there to be sameness or difference uh, with authors and, but this question of sort of what is Jewish literature or Jewish American literature is really interesting to me. I um, probably took so long to write my first novel because in college I was a couple years behind Allegra Goodman, mm. whose first <laughs> book was written, published while we were in college to favorable reviews in the New York Times. She's a really intimidating person. <laughs> She's the sweetest person in the world, except for maybe her husband, who I think is even sweeter than her. Um, but, you know, s when I think of somebody like Allegra, I, you know, to me, like, there's a Jewish American author. I mean, her books are so much about the Jewish experience. And I used to joke that in some ways, I don't know if any of you know the novel Mona in the Promised Land, mm -hmm. right? I, I don't have to write the story of my childhood because Kish Chen, who's Chinese American, already did that for me. <laughs> um, so, you know, so I guess that that's part of the question. But I think obviously that in some ways the, um, the stories of slavery really resonate for those of us who grew up around the Passover story being a really strong t tradition in our homes, which is not to say that there's not an awful lot that is complicated about Jews as slave owners in the, in the context of um, slavery in the US and in the Confederacy. But I think that that's part of why that story is so resonant for me. And I also think in some ways that I really think of her mother as sort of pushing her to sort of a Jewish identity, the sense that you, mm -hmm. it, the, of, of chosenness, and that chosenness is not just defined as being better than others, but actually being defined in terms of having a responsibility mm -hmm. to do something with whatever you have. And so the sense that she is special is also, a, it is as much a burden as anything else, and it causes her to make sacrifices. And also, I guess, a, a sense of social responsibility, which I really would equate very much with the kind of Jewish upbringing that I had. I was just going to say that I relate to that. And my last book of poems is called Storytelling in Cambodia. It's when I worked in Cambodia. And I think part of that, I could say, is it Jewish? Again, should I be able to write about that, you know, sort of the not being Cambodian? Or is it that having that sense of the Holocaust of genocide, that just being part of sort of a Jewish identity, whether one experienced it or not, it felt, I felt a very strong connection to Cambodians. And I felt because of that, there was this authenticity that I felt I could bring to that, to that book. Yeah, and I think in some ways that's, the most important thing for us to do, it, it, if we're identifying as Jewish writers, is to think not just about this is a Jewish experience, but this is th what does my Jewish experience do in terms of bringing me to think about injustice in other exactly. ways and places? Universality. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you for being here.